Hey YouTube, um, long time no talk I guess, huh? Uh, I'm kind of making this video's uh, update slash notification slash who knows what, but um, via, I'm not a big fan of YouTube, first of all, like, I'm more of a writer kind, like, I um, really do enjoy um, putting my life down on paper or chronicling my life in one way or another, and blogs are pretty good too, but um, they're not my favorite because they're a lot less efficient and so on and so on. And also I don't really like most of the people on YouTube or um, the videos on YouTube even. Um, I find them really annoying most of the time. But except, you know, there's some nice people. And I've met some nice people and it's great. But um, I wanted, I also found something out about myself in the process of meeting new people or talking to people on YouTube. And what I discovered is, um, like, six months ago or so, I discovered that I can't talk to people long term. Like, if I will get all excited to talk to someone who's, like, really nice, and I'll tell them a ton of stuff and talk to them a lot. And then, like, uh, after, like, three or four messages or less, I start freaking out and getting overwhelmed because of my anxiety. And so... I immediately just stop and then like every week that goes by I just get more overwhelmed about it or more upset that I didn't respond and then it just becomes a constant source of stress and it's not exactly new but it is new because I don't talk to new people very often so I didn't really think about it much I just kind of figured well I'm kind of flaky you know but I realized just it's not smart for me to start conversations with people that are long or messages because it's just like bad idea, like I'm gonna hurt your feelings or do something that's really mean, because I think that's really mean of me. So I want to apologize to you know who you are and people who message me and hope to get something like contact because aside from like little things like comments, I don't really I can't function in that way right now. I can't even really talk to my friends much. So it's not because I'm not interested because I really do enjoy talking to people and when I do message people I really enjoy it. It's just that for whatever reason my brain is not very set up to multitask or to balance things I have to do and responsibilities or um, messages from people. So I wanted to apologize for that because it's a bummer because I enjoy it and if I could spend more time doing it I would but just for whatever reason I find it extremely overwhelming because it would be such a lovely thing to meet more people and um, there are, like, besides the annoying people on YouTube, there are some really nice ones. And um, I feel for you, the people who have anxiety also, and it's nice to be there for each other. But, as I said, I found that um, I, I can write about my life, and I can kind of keep people updated that way, but just I cannot actively give people conversation and keep it up. So, it's just not good. And I've been trying to be more careful because I don't like doing that to people, as I said. So, um, I guess I'll leave that video at that. I'll make another one because I have more news, kind of. And But I just wanted to start with that for those of you who follow me or um, subscribe, so to speak, or um, have tried to message me. Or if, I message, if you messaged me a long time ago and I never messaged back or I stopped all of a sudden, uh, it's not something I'm proud of, and it's something I kind of had to come to terms with about myself, and I really have to just stop initiating conversations with people um, when it's that big and when I know that it's going to just kind of fall over like that. Because I'm not the kind of person who forgets these things. I hang on to them and feel bad about them forever, so I just do not want to even do that right now. It's not a good idea. So, that's all.